bought this dresser off of Facebook Marketplace. It was part of a three-piece nightstand, media stand, and dresser set. This is part two of a three video series I'm doing on this furniture set. I started this project by cleaning out the drawers. I used ammonia with water. The original drawer pulls used two holes and the new ones I was going to use only required one. So I opted to plug the holes with 3 8 inch dowels. I used a 3 8 inch drill bit to make these holes slightly bigger to accept the 3 8 inch dowels I was using to plug the holes. I just cut the dowels with my handsaw and I will sand them flush later. I then proceeded to measure the size of the middle trim piece. I then used a pry bar and a screwdriver to pry the piece off. I tried cutting the staples off with my dull shears, but that didn't completely work. So I just used my grinder with the flap disc to grind them down. The dresser had these plastic protectors on the bottom that were ugly and in the way, so I just knocked them off with the flathead screwdriver. I then cleaned off all the dust pennies and proceeded to remove the base trim piece. I was able to use a mallet and a pry bar to get it off. I then did the same process as the middle trim piece. I cut the bottom trim piece to width on my table saw as well as the middle trim piece. Cut them to length and added a round over to the bottom piece with my router. I used a round over bit since it was closest to the existing edge details of the dresser. I lightly sanded the pieces with the 150 grit sandpaper. I didn't like the look of the extra trim pieces on the top, so I used a screwdriver to remove them. I sanded the drawer faces with my orbital sander and 150 grit sandpaper then hand sanded the grooves and edges. This will help the primer adhere better. I proceeded to attach the bottom trim piece by pre-drilling holes on the inside of the dresser, then driving in some screws. I then clamped and screwed the middle trim piece in, but accidentally drove a screw too far in. So I used my grinder to grind it down smooth.
then sanded the entire dresser with 150 grit sandpaper. Since this piece is laminate, I'm not trying to sand it completely down. I just want to rough out the surface to help the paint stick. I did sand the top a little extra to help flatten out some high spots. While blowing off the sanding dust, my air compressor loosened up some of the laminate. I just took it all off and re-sanded that spot. I then proceeded to prime the entire piece. I'm using a shellac based primer with a brush. I use shellac because this will stick to the laminate surface. If it was solid wood, I could have used a water based primer instead. Priming the surface will help the top coat paint stick better and last longer. It will also seal the MDF edges. I then primed all the drawer faces, making sure to get all the edges and grooves. Since I'm still pretty new to shellac, the primer didn't come out as smooth as I wanted. I just used 220 grit sandpaper to lightly sand it and smooth it out. I then did the same with the drawer faces. I just got this new sprayer and this was my third time ever using it. It was my first time spraying a dresser and I was a little nervous. I locked in the settings off camera and succeeded in spraying two coats of cabinet grade paint. I used an off white color. This sprayer made painting the dresser a lot faster and delivered a smooth finish. After everything was dry, I drilled the new hole for the drawer pull I'd be using. I used blue tape to help prevent tear out and damaging the newly painted drawer. I installed the new pull and I was done. Here's how it came out. like how removing the extra trim pieces on top helped it look more modern. If you like this video, please give it a like and possibly share it with a friend. I'm pretty new to YouTube so any feedback would be appreciated. If you're on Instagram, consider giving me a follow at madeathometx. Thanks for watching.